Camtasia 2024. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so Camtasia 2024 was just released and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and my initial reactions of seeing the new features. I like to do these kinds of videos every time there's a new Camtasia. So I've been using Camtasia since 2010. I've literally edited thousands, and yes, I do mean thousands, well over 3,000 videos using Camtasia. So I have a lot of experience with it. All right, so let's get into Camtasia 2024. What's it got? So I'm just here on their release page where they show all of the features. We will go into the actual software. I just want to just quickly show you guys what this looks like. They usually showcase one main kind of feature for the latest version of Camtasia. And in this case, it's this thing called captions. And I think it's like dynamic captions. I'm actually interested and very excited to check that out. So they've got captions. Let's scroll down here. Auto transcribed dynamic captions. Incredibly fast and accurate, AI generated, lots of AI stuff happening these days. It can support dozens of languages and dialects. And you can choose eight presets. So you can see here, it looks like, you know, this person's doing a cooking style video. You drag it down with that style, and then it's going to show up on the screen. This is going to be really interesting because, you know, certain tutorial videos, when you want to highlight something, it's always beneficial to have a caption come up on screen. So I feel like I'm going to be using this because we mainly do tutorial videos. And let's see here, the recorder is a little bit different. All right, so let's see here. Capture your screen, camera, microphone, system audio, and mouse at higher frame rates. That's interesting. And resolutions. You can edit each track for more flexibility. Let's go on to the next here. Additional improvements and enhancements. Edit any Camtasia video with Camtasia Rev's fast and easy workflow. I did do a video on Camtasia Rev and it was pretty cool. That came out in last year's version. New transitions, cursor enhancements, and audio visualizers. Cool. And they've also got this stuff here as well. So let's head over into Camtasia 2024. This is going to be my first initial reaction, so let's see. Ooh, okay. First thing I notice as Camtasia 2024 is loading up, it took me to Camtasia Assets, and they are categorized. I have been wanting this to be categorized for the longest time because in the previous versions, it was just like a whole mix of assets and searching for stuff. It was like all over the place and it was just like you could get a tile, you could get a footage, you could get a call out and it was like all mixed. But I love how this is categorized. You've got titles, you've got the footage, you've got call outs, dynamic backgrounds, music, audio visualizers photos, channel kit, that's very useful if you're a YouTuber, emphasize bursts, I don't think I've used those, animations, that's going to be interesting, the UI kit, sound effects, and characters. Okay, so that's cool. The Camtasia assets are now categorized. Thank you, because I was just, it was hard trying to find stuff sometimes. Let's click on library here and see what that looks like. This is always like a clear indication of which Camtasia you're in is if you always go to the library, you'll see the last library that's in there. And so this is telling me Camtasia 2024. So I'm in Camtasia 2024. All my libraries are here of the different clients that we have and our own assets and my audio. I highly recommend building out your libraries for things that you use often, like audio, like the sound effects, certain images that you use, certain brand assets for yourself and or your clients. Every time I have a client that I'm editing videos for, I save their assets in their own library so that I know if I go to Andrea, all her stuff is there that I use to edit her videos. Brian, Darla, and it's not all mixed up because if you save it into a whole general thing, and it's just all there, you just, you're going to waste time trying to find stuff. 
And when you are video editing, you want to save as much time as possible because it's already a tedious long thing. Libraries look the same. Let's head over to this tab right here, the media bin. That looks exactly the same. I believe it should have transferred over all of my favorites. Yes, it did. So that's really good that in Camtasia 2023, I had all this stuff saved and favorited. It looks like it transferred all of my stuff. And this is the stuff that I like to use on literally a daily basis. Let's head over to annotations. Ooh, here we go. Right off the bat, I noticed this. Some new text stuff. You can see like it's got a bolder text with an outline. That's kind of the trend these days. If you notice in captioning, there's a lot of that happening right now where it's like big bold text with color and then you have an outline and that's kind of how the captions look these days. That's cool. Let's head over to the next one. This is still the same, 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 same. And this still looks the same. Let's head over to visual effects. Okay, so far still looking the same. Let's keep scrolling down. Oh, this is new. Tiling. That is interesting. I wonder what that looks like. I'll be doing separate videos on all these little mini features and stuff. This is more of just an overview of the software. I'm kind of excited to use that. Don't know what I'd use it for. Let's head over to transitions. I'll be doing a separate video on all the new transitions, but right off the bat I can see this, like I don't remember this, angled sliders. That looks interesting. And this angled wipe. What I like to do is I like to go through all the transitions and favorite them, the ones that I feel like I would use most. I usually like the ones that don't look too cheesy and they look professional but cool at the same time. I can see that arrows, solid, like, because I don't remember these colors. Like I mentioned, I'm in Camtasia every day, so this right off the bat is new. And it's got stuff like this now. Box iris, have no idea what that looks like. Bursting heart, that looks like it's new. Interesting. I always like when they add new transitions. I'll go through and see which ones are new and make that video for you guys. But you guys get the gist. There's a bunch of new ones in here that you can add to your videos and, you know, little transition here and there can spice up the video. All right, let's head over to animations. This pretty much looks exactly the same. Let's head over to the other animations tab. And uh, that pretty much looks the same. Behaviors. Behaviors were introduced a while ago and for many years they've been the same. Let's see. It looks like they've got two new ones here. Tremble and Wiggle. Definitely wiggle. I'm not sure about tremble. I have to check, but for the most part, these have pretty much been the same for a while. They're basically pre-made animations, but they call them behaviors, and you can add these onto text, images, video. I usually use them for images and text. Let's head over to cursor effects. Oh, here we go. Cursor glow. That's going to be interesting. I use the cursor a lot because I'm recording screencast recordings like this and I'm doing tutorial videos so, you know, I want you guys to follow along. So that's going to be cool using the glow and that looks like about it for that's new in there. Let's see in the left and right click. Those look the same. Audio effects. That looks all the same. The more tab. I don't usually go in voice narration. I usually just record as it's happening. I don't go back and record, so I don't really use this feature. Captions. Oh, this is where the dynamic captions are. We found it. Okay, let's check this out. I won't do the tutorial right now. I will have a dedicated tutorial of me going into this, trying it out and see if it is good. But let's see here. Dynamic caption transcript. One, generate captions, drag a caption style onto the timeline to generate dynamic captions based on the audio. Two, view and edit captions, select the audio media on the timeline and edit the captions here. Interesting. Let's see here. These are the different styles. Like I mentioned, this is kind of the trend right now. And so they've got, looks like eight. And it looks like you drag these on to your video and then it's supposed to come up on the screen automatically. 
If that is the case, that's going to be really cool. So just at a glance there, that looks like the new Camtasia 2024. So the big question, is it worth the upgrade? Well, you always have to ask yourself, what are you using Camtasia for? For me, I edit in here literally every day for ourselves and this YouTube channel and for our clients. And right now what's trending is captioned videos with that big text, right? So for me, it would be worth the upgrade. And in fact, on the plan that I'm on with Camtasia, I'm on the maintenance plan, the yearly maintenance plan, which basically you pay this yearly maintenance fee and you get the free upgrade, which is less than what it costs to purchase the actual software. So I would recommend getting the yearly maintenance package so that you get the free versions. And it also has other benefits like direct contact support. Anytime I have had issues, it was easy to get in contact with people to help solve the whatever issue I was having. Now, if you don't use any of the captions or transitions or anything like that, then it might not be worth it. You really do need to evaluate how you use Camtasia. Also, if you're on a lower version like Camtasia 2020 or 2021, I do think it's worth the upgrade because since then there have been many features released. If you have Camtasia 2023 and you don't really care about the captions, then it might not be worth the upgrade. You might wait for the next year. But like I mentioned, I'm using Camtasia literally every day and I have the maintenance package, so it already comes free. So evaluate your situation and make the correct decision for you. So let me know down in the comments section below, will you be upgrading to the new Camtasia 2024? If you wanna edit videos like I do, you guys can head down to the description below. I have a Camtasia course that I just updated. It's got all of my tutorials, commercial free, how I've done Camtasia, how I edit for my clients. It's 10 plus hours of content. If you wanna edit like I do on Camtasia, you're gonna to wanna to get that course. That'll be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.